YouTube, I am back. It is a new year. It's 2018. This is going to be probably one of my first hauls that I've ever done. I've done like um, Aritzia warehouse and just reviews of unboxing. So definitely going to be a new thing for me to do. Um, so this haul is going to be... Um, Packages I've ordered online or I got over like Black Friday, Boxing Day weekend. So I just can't wait to can and share it with you guys. First off, I'm going to be starting off with clothing and accessories. I want to start off with my favorite brand only in Canada is Aritzia. So from Aritzia, they were having their Boxing Day sale, which is still going on. And I think it's like 40 to 60% off right now. First, I got this top. It is a long sleeve with a scoop neck in the back. And it also has two ties, which tie around the whole waist. And then the back, it turns into a bow. It's super cute. Um, the sub brand is Wilfred Free. So I have a bunch of these same material tops which i love because they're like super comfy and they're stretchable and honestly they look good anywhere you wear it to it's also wilfred free so i was actually looking at aritzia kind of just like browsing because i couldn't really find anything and i ended up finding this bodysuit behind a whole bunch of dresses and just in my size too so i was pretty excited for that this also has like a scoop in the back too and it was only $15. Originally it was $55 and I think I got like a really good steal. Um, the bottom part is button up. I do not like the ones where you cannot button because one, it gives you a wedgie and two, it's just harder to go to the bathroom. So definitely really love this bodysuit. And it's a long sleeve, so it's perfect for like wearing it with skirts or like shorts or even jeans but you know in California in the summer it's all about the skirts and the shorts. These leggings, these are actually from the sister store TNA and this is their logo. So I got these gray leggings with the white on the sides. I really started to like these stripes because I don't know, it could be like casual, but in a way you could wear it to like a conference meeting or like interviews. I also got one of these pairs in black, but from Zara, and I felt like, oh, like why not get it in gray? <laughs> and leggings are definitely very comfy. Um, a new trend to wear them, I guess, as pants. And yeah, you can just wear them everywhere you go. My fourth and last item from Ritzia would be this sweater or cardigan. This is um, it's called the Beekman sweater and it is from Babaton. So this is fine merino wool and I honestly fell in love with this when I saw it in the store but I didn't know what color to pick. So I really like this sweater because you can see the inside when you wear it as well do you know what i mean like there's a different color outside but then once you like kind of put it on the insides kind of flip outwards and you can see like a two-tone color i've been trying to find a sweater like this forever but like one time you just gotta binge on something that you really like luckily i got this on sale um it was on sale for 99 dollars originally was 135 something like that so I'm just really happy to get it in my size as well there was longer versions of them but I rather have the shorter ones because I'm already tiny as it is so plus I didn't want it look like I was wearing a robe or anything I went to the Victoria's Secret semi-annual sale and I got this cute bralette I like thought of Coachella instantly or you can wear this underneath a sheer top very cute and this was only ten dollars so I got a lot of steals at Victoria's Secret uh, I find that their sales are a hit and miss sometimes um, 
I usually shop on the pink side because things fit better and there's like more things that you can wear casually but this was from the Victoria's Secret side which I last one so it caught my eye for sure the last piece of clothing I got was from this boutique in Vancouver it's called crown the queens and it's a CK bodysuit I really wanted to go back to crown the queens because I've only been there once but this was my second time and it is downtown in Gastown and I just never had the chance to go on my own so I brought my cousin with me so this is um, they reworked it so it is actually American apparel bodysuit with the Kevin Klein logo on it so it's super cute and it's like a v-neck which I love and yeah this was probably around how much was it? it was $25 so it wasn't too bad next I am going to be moving on to shoes so I got a pair of Adidas. <laughs> I got these from PacSun and they were on sale and I really like gazelles. I don't know why. The first time I saw them, I had like mixed feelings and then I saw them more and more and it kind of made me want them myself. There are different colors. Um, I was initially planning to get black or gray. But PacSun was having it on sale for 40 bucks, and I asked if they had my size, and they did, so I kind of like lucked out on that. And this color is not too bad, it's just I would have to wear them more on the dry days or days where it would just be walking, but they're definitely super cute, and I don't regret not buying them. My second pair of shoes would be these combat boots. These are from Amazon, actually. Um, I was looking for kind of like these boots for Coachella because I wore runners last year or two years ago and I found that they were not going with my outfits as well. So I got a pair of these. These actually have a special zipper to put cards in. So it's definitely a two in one. Because Coachella, you don't want to like bring a purse or like I wore a fanny pack last time. But this will definitely help me carry my stuff. And they're actually super comfy as well. And I chose brown because of the dust. I know if I wear black, the dust will be very visible. But brown kind of like mixes in with the sand. So hopefully these will go really well with my outfits. And they were only... I think like 25 to $30, so that's like a really good deal. My third pair of shoes are Steve Madden's. These are wedges, wedge kind of sandals, and I actually got them downtown. Um, they, the store was closing down and everything they had was $20. So. Knowing Steve Madden, they usually have size 6, and I'm usually size 5.5 to 6. So I was kind of worried that they wouldn't have my size. But they had walls that said like 5, 5.5, five 6. Um, they didn't have much of a selection. It was mainly like heels or like super sparkly, furry kind of <laughs> shoes. And I found these, and they were size 5, so normally... I wouldn't fit size 5, but when it comes to heels, I find that it fits way better for some reason. So these fit perfectly and they're super comfy. And for 20 bucks, like you can't go wrong with that. So definitely loving these heels. My next category I'll be doing is makeup and I guess a little bit of hair care. So I recently got my hair done in Vancouver at Suki's Pop Salon and my hair used to be really orange if you remember my old videos so I decided to give her a try because my friend recommended me so she told me that it ranged from 150 and up so when I went she told me it was gonna be that price which is really good especially if it's like in Canadian dollars <laughs> um, but it took me I was there at 11 45 till 5 o'clock 
So it wasn't too bad. I wasn't that bored. Um, it was pretty much, I had to like get up, I had to go wash my hair, gotta go back, and then she kind of like did it in sections, so I would keep walking and walking, so I would like get myself like, I guess, busy. And overall, like I love it. She blended it really good. And overall, I got it for, I think, 170. She had to color correct some of the parts because this part is still kind of warm and this part was very bright while this part is had a little bit longer time because of my natural hair color and I also bought the Bumble and Bumble Invisible Oil so I haven't really heard of this brand but I've been watching a couple like beauty vloggers and they've been advertising it so I was like okay why not Plus, they gave me 20% off any product because it was my first time. So this is a heat and UV protectant primer. So I just put this on every time I take a shower and when my hair is damp. And this will actually protect it from heat. And she told me that I could put this on anytime, even if my hair is dry. Like if I'm at the beach, I can just like spray it on quickly or just going out casually every day because the UV rays are really high in California as some of you know so my hair gets like super dry easily but I feel with this like it really I can tell a difference and my hair has been very blonde and luscious for once <laughs> so I'm super happy with that next this is my one of my new favorites it's the miracle finish by um, natural story but it is the face shop brand so it's a Korean makeup and this is a compact it is a BB cream and it comes with a very um what's it called sponge and then goes like this um, I bought the cooling one they have like six kinds so this one helps with I believe like dry, not dry skin, normal skin and it has um, SPF in it and helps with kind of like, it has a dewy glow so it, your skin doesn't look sweaty or like dry. I guess that's like the thing with Koreans, they always want dewy skin. This is in the shade V203 natural beige and this is the cooling cushion CC cream so definitely a really cute packaging and um, a must buy for me at least I've been look I never wear foundation I only wear concealer so the CC cream is definitely a fit for me I have color pop haul a little bit um, I wanted their concealer really bad but a lot of the times my shade was sold out this is actually the first time that i'm trying it and i got light neutral so hopefully that will turn out okay it looks like this it's really cute and actually it's not too cheap okay try okay hopefully it won't be too uh, bright it's a little bright for my skin but this is my arm so it might work out for my under lids as a more of a highlighting thing but the consistency of the thing is actually really nice super smooth blends in super well and for six dollars that's actually really good it's the no filter concealer so i'm guessing that yeah, it pretty much represents the name itself so i'm going to be trying this lippy stick this is actually a primer so actually i don't need to really try this but i wanted something for my lips because they get really dry when i wear matte lip stains and I've never used a primer before I usually use just chapstick and I want to definitely give it a try um, I will let you know in the comments below how it is 
The next one is the Lippy Pencil. I think this is kind of like their lip liner. This is in the color Brink. And this is what it looks like. Ooh, that is super nice. I really like mauve, um, kind of like rosy colors. And it's super, it glides on super well. And it, you don't need to sharpen it because it's a twistable one, which is great. I have a hard time finding um, lip liners that actually are strong enough when I press on my lips because usually I got this one from Sephora and it broke right away, which wasted a little bit of it. So I was kind of disappointed. But this one is definitely a good to go. This one is the Ultra Blotted Lip. This is in the color Doozy. This is a super bright pink and it's like kind of like a tint in a way. I wanted something more natural looking or something that I can just kind of like pat into my lips like those uh, Korean <laughs> inspired makeup. So this is definitely a very nice natural color. This one is the Ultra Satin Lip in the color Frickin' Frack. I definitely love a lot of pinks as you can see. This one looks a bit darker than most of my colors. Yeah, this is darker. Uh, I wanted something more for the winter time, kind of like a fall nude color. Uh, it's definitely going to go great with some of my dark outfits. And the last one is the Supernova Shadow. So I think these are new, but this is in Running in Orbis. I fell in love when I saw this color. It's like super metallic and kind of like, I guess like a gold shade, gold bronze. Um, but you could also use this as highlighter too. Oh, look at that. That is amazing definitely super pigmented very glittery and metallic-y this is going to be perfect for events like galas like fancy wedding dinners or even like new year's so definitely a must buy and add to the collection kind of thing but overall that is what i have for you right now um let me know if you enjoyed this makeup slash fashion haul and maybe i will do it again and I will put all of the links of the items below. I also wanted to give a shout out to my friend Sabrina who did my nails. They are hearts with rose gold theme. So thank you so much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!